President Trump's jarring attacks on Joe Biden. The president has been siding with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un to disparage the former vice president. Biden has now responded. And our senior national correspondent Terry Moran is at the White House with the latest. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. Yes, it's pretty clear that President Trump has Biden on the brain. He keeps attacking the former vice president. He's trying out the kind of nasty nicknames that are his trademark to see if one will stick. None have so far. And he's looking for a line of argument almost. He keeps attacking him on a variety of issues to see if one will work. Uh, some Republicans say that this is only helping Biden, whose main calling card is in the Democratic primary is that he's the guy who most threatens President Trump. Uh, but Pre Vice President Biden himself is kind of shrugging it all off. Uh, there is a sense that this latest attack, as you mentioned, uh, attacking Joe Biden while standing on a foreign soil and supporting a foreign dictator, once that would have been scandalous. But now it's really just another day in this presidency. George. It is meantime. The president has been trying to tamp down tensions both with North Korea and more recently with Iran. But his national security advisor is recently this morning, John Bolton, on a much more aggressive course. As usual, George, John Bolton is really one of the real hawks in Washington. And as national security advisor, he's been pushing for a more aggressive stance against Iran. While in Japan, he, according to the Associated Press, he said that it is, it is Iran. Uh, that uh, was responsible for those attacks on tankers in the Persian Gulf a couple of weeks ago. He also says that Iran is once again seeking nuclear weapons. Uh, all of that, President Trump uh, has uh, basically said John Bolton has his own way of going and that he's the president and will make the call. George. Terry Moran, thanks very much. One more political note this morning. ABC News we are announcing now is going to be hosting the third Democratic primary debate. That's in partnership with Univision. Probably over two nights in September 12th and 13th. Looking forward to that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.